somebody was telling somebody said don't go too close to that brother Billy you cannot listen to him twice he will scatter your life whatever bond again you think you have when you get there you have to be really really born again Brother Tayo, you are here now. We went to preach in a church in the UK just for two hours. I thought they wanted me to preach the word of God. So I just took the scripture, two hours. And we were drawing the word of God, drawing the word of God. When I finished, I just stopped and said, Now, if you want to be faithful to God's word and you want to repent, yeah, when people started started crying, wailing. I said, What have I done? I didn't know that a matter has come since that time. I have not been invited back there. When Brother Tayo as I said, Brother is coming again, or will you want him to take a meeting in your church he said ah no 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 we have not recovered <laughs> he came two years ago and we have not yet recovered <laughs> i'm still just trying to regather all the things he scattered some of my members cried it <laughs> ah no mm -mm. Mm -mm. met people that they came casually to a meeting they thought it was just like any meeting anybody can go and just go like that and the word of God will come and that turns their story a man wrote me a letter after the student congress the last student congress because of the kind of thing the Holy Spirit did in our midst here. You remember we are dealing with foundation. Eh? See the kind of thing that happened. When students came under the conviction of the word of God. They violently want to repent and make their lives right. Some went back home. And said daddy. I have been a liar for years. This kind of resort that you organize for me, I don't need it again. I'm going to tear you. Say, what? Others, the kind of things that God does. I want you to know the word of God, preach under the unction of the Holy Spirit, will give abiding results. But it does not mean that everybody is going to clap for you. But we don't mind. Do you mind? Do you mind that the Holy Spirit will come upon you in such a way that men will be convicted and for days and for weeks they will not recover. They can't go back. And David Alfai is here, he will remember. They were doing uh, Christ the Victor in a ministry 1983 I was asked to come and preach in the conference and they lodged me in a brother's house good brother good lecturer so he carried me in his car to the meeting in the morning the meeting started around 8.30 and casually we started speaking about the old man mm. When the Lord began to convict people, the students and the people that were there, people were crying, people were walking out, people were confessing openly. I'm a terrible man. All kind of things were happening. We couldn't stop the meeting until about 4 p.m. I wasn't preaching. The people were just confessing their own sins. The Holy Ghost. You will, you will receive power. 
when the Holy Ghost shall come upon you. You will. You will tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. But I'm explaining to you the purpose of that power. That's why we want to set you before we started praying. By 4 p.m., I'm ready to go home. They look for my hosts. My host has disappeared. He has gone home with his car. They looked everywhere. David was here. They had to look for Okada to carry me to the house. When I got to the house, everywhere was quiet. So I just sneaked to the room they put me. Not me whether I have offended the man. That's why he abandoned me or what. And I was lying down in the room they kept me until 4 a.m. when I heard a very heavy knock on my door. Bradville! Bradville! I said, yes. Any problem? I said, yes, problem. It is the madam. What did you do to my husband? What did you do to my husband? Since he carried you out and he came back, come and see him. He has been crying since he came back. I have never seen an energetic man like this cry. What did you do to my husband? I said, did I do anything to him? He said, you did something to him. No, he took me to the meeting and I didn't even see him. I thought he was, in, or maybe he went for lecture. I said, no, since he came back, I've been begging him to stop crying. He could not. This is 4 a.m. now. So I now went to the bedroom, not knowing what has happened. When I saw this man, he was in the pool of his tears. I asked my dad, did you pour water on him? He said, me. I'm telling you that that's, he has been crying since, since, since afternoon. His tears have remained uncontrollable. He's been, look at him. When the brother turned like this and saw me, he cried again. He said, yeah, 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 I'm a terrible. <laughs> I said, what's the problem? I stood there when I realized that it is the Holy Spirit. I realized that it's the Spirit of God that is dealing with the rubbish. The man cried. He confessed. When I stood there, the only song I could, could sing that day, We pick and save me. I started singing. Then he asked, So what will deliver me? I said, The blood that Jesus shed we cleanse you from all unrighteousness. It was then we managed to get him seated. He's so exhausted, tired. I want to inform you from that night, I have seen a man transformed. I've seen something different in his life. When he stands somewhere now to speak, you know that fire has touched this man sometime. I am looking for such ministry. Some people dress so nicely. They come here, they come here, they come here. And they go intact. That's not the prayer I'm praying. I pray that Lord mess up any sinner. Mess him up so that he can repent. Bring him on his knees. Break every confidence of a sinner. Until he meets the genuine Savior. Would you like to join me in that prayer? And God said, I say unto you, ask and you shall receive. Seek, you will find. Knock, what will happen? The door will be opened. God has given us this permission tonight to ask him. Because of the challenge in our hands. Because of men that we are going to confront. Because of this generation that is becoming reckless. Because of the people that have turned their ears onto fables. We need an anointing. Irresistible anointing to convict, to convert. Hallelujah. 
and to make men conformed to the image of Jesus. We need an anointing to release them from the shackles of sin once and for all. We need an anointing that breaks the yoke ancestral spirit, witchcraft breaks it at once and causes men to go free serving the Lord. We need an anointing today, O oh God, that we don't keep running up and down in circles and men are not moving. Lord, send us, propel us with your power. And they went forth preaching everywhere. Hallelujah. And the Lord walking with them. Permit me to ask you to take a good position of prayer. I want to say, God, renew me. Give me, O oh Lord, your unction. This night, you are going to lay your hand on your head and say, God, I can't go with the dry head anymore. The Bible says, let your head, let your head not lack ointment. Tell God tonight, let not this my head lack ointment. Enough of dry, dry scalp. Enough of dandruff. God, from the crown of my head this night, let your power flow. Friends, let your power flow over my life, oh God. Let your power flow. As you place those hands on your head, you are saying to God, no more a dry head. Can you imagine how many times you preach very well, but there is no lubrication. Everything is just dry. Sometimes you are biting your tongue before you finish. And when you finish, people are just looking at you like that. And even those who pity you to say they want to make response, there's nothing there. After one week, they will not stand. Tell God tonight, I put my hand on my head before you. Let my head not lack ointment. Let my head, oh God, not lack ointment. Place your hand on my hands tonight. Let there be a fresh outflow. You see, I'm not talking about shouting. I'm not talking about eloquent speaking. I'm talking about effective preaching. Effective witness. Effective ministration. Effective ministry. Lord, visit us tonight. Thank you, Lord, for answering this prayer. As you now take off that hand, lift it to God to receive from Him. Tell him you said if I ask I will receive If I seek I will find If I knock you will open the door I have asked Not for my selfish reason There are thousands waiting for me Some of you have regular congregation every Sunday and nothing has been happening to them. Tell God, I'm not returning to my church with a dry head. From this meeting, with great boldness and great power, will I give witness of the resurrection of my master. Some of you, you have had opportunity of preaching every week but your message has only become a routine there is no surprise with you anymore there is nothing fresh 
You are just doing microwave anointing. Tell God tonight. I raise my hand to you. To receive from you. I put my hands in your hand tonight to receive from you. A new dimension. A new dimension of your grace. A new dimension of your anointing. That will become manifest as I go forth. As I go forth everywhere preaching. You will confirm your word. Thank you Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you. Father we thank you tonight. We cannot rule out the fact tonight that the Spirit of God is visiting you, opening new wells inside of you. That's the final prayer point, friends. Listen. There were wells dug in the days of Abraham. But the Philistines came and blocked them. They tip sand into that well until the water became muddy, until the water dried up. The site of the well is still there, but rubbish filled it. Some of you are thinking that maybe, maybe I need another spirit. Let me inform you now. The well is still there. It's only blocked. God is going to excavate it now. Yeah. Rubbish, habits, things that came and blocked you. I know some of you are very fervent. Something finally came and, and tipped sand upon your well. And everything is now blocked. Tonight, there is an excavation going on. When a well has become blocked, it becomes shallow. A little, a little dry season dries it up. We want you to believe God tonight. That as God excavates those old wells, there will be a fresh spring. A fresh spring. Look, my heart is to some of you that are a little older in the Lord. You look back and you say, when the Lord used to move, how can you be saying that? How can you be talking about good old days when you are still alive? Every blocked well we command you open in the name of Jesus. Every well that has been blocked blocked with rubbish when you began to preach a different message, the well was blocked. Tonight, as you return to the simplicity of the gospel, the Lord Almighty shall evacuate the rubbish. He will open up your wells again. Freshness will come out of your wells again. From this night and from this day forward, that well will begin to spring again. It will not spring stay water. It will not spring old stories. It's coming fresh. Fresh move for fresh work. Fresh anointing, fresh encounter for fresh manifestation. Fresh. Don't just ask, ask God for fresh. 
fresh, fresh, fresh revelation of God. Fresh. You don't know how I feel when I turn to an old scripture and it turns out fresh. You don't know how excited I am when I go to an old familiar passage and something fresh jumps up. Tell God, I'm asking for freshness. Fresh outburst, fresh spring. Springs. Shayabos. Lord, I stand together with my brothers. It shall be well with us. Talk. He that asketh, receive it. Receive what you have asked in the name of Jesus Christ. He that seeketh, find it. From this night, you will find the cry and the desire of your heart in the name of Jesus. He that knocketh, to him the door shall be opened. And this night I declare, let the heavens be opened over your head. Let it be open for a fresh outpouring. Let the doors, the doors of ministry be opened over your life in the name of Jesus. From this night I demand that the door of utterance. You don't know the liberty when the Holy Ghost gives utterance. When the Holy Spirit takes a passage and breaks the bread, it multiplies to thousands. You will know that door of utterance open to you from this meeting in the name of Jesus. Shayaba. Mama, 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 Sandara Kushta Liboska. Father, tonight, say, He that knocked the door is open to them. Where are you who has been struggling for utterance? You have been repeating yourself. Oh, the door shall be open to you today. Some of you, you are hearing me, but you know, the word of God has become dry, closed. You only preach in familiar quarters and you only repeat the same thing. Nothing fresh. I declare to you tonight the door of utterance shall be open to you. Fresh revelation into the word of God. There are some of you that are chaplains in this meeting. Lift up your hands and say, God, I live among intellectuals and the pressure you have is to continue to sound very highly academic. You are already under that pressure. So you are doing more research but less prayer. You think because the professors are coming to your chapel all you need to do is to be speaking intellectually. I sense I must pray for you now that that kind of backsliding that has come on your life shall be uprooted in the name of Jesus Christ. God will open a fresh door of revelation. Your insight into scripture will baffle men in the name of Jesus. You know, we are asking God for an outpouring tonight, and some of you just think that I'm talking about anointing to preach. We will preach, but some of you, you will have to preach through your platform, through your professional work. And the door of wisdom, wisdom. Wisdom into designs. That door shall be open to your life tonight in the name of Jesus. The door of act 
accurate prescription accurate result in research receive tonight in the name of Jesus supernatural wisdom to deal with economic situation supernatural wisdom to deal with scientific equations we receive on your behalf in the name of Jesus thank you for tonight now the door of faith shall be opened to you men will become receptive to your message hearts of men will open to receive what God has sent you to say the Lord will satisfy your soul in the name of Jesus Christ thank you father and the manifestation of this shall be evident as they go forth as they go forth preaching everywhere the Lord confirming the word with signs following in the name of Jesus Christ as you go forth hearts of men will burn before you notorious sinners will melt at your voice in the name of Jesus Christ arrogant husbands will fall on their knees in the name of Jesus Christ old mothers who are full of empty fables they will suddenly be gingered into newness of life as they come in contact with your life as Jesus life and anointing was so effective so with the anointing on your life become effective thank you father blessed be your name now one more point of prayer before I leave tell God I will go it is in going that you grow every growing man is a going man you become stagnant when you become static can you say to the Lord I will go I will go and I will preach the word I will preach the word I will preach with expectation I will preach for conviction I will preach for conversion thank you father tell the Lord I will go I will not be with that servant that the master came and said can you go and walk for me today he said I will go but he never went father I will go would you like to sing that final song again Yeramai send me Yeramai send me Yeramai send me Yeramai send me send me as the Lord needs somebody